now. I want to share a vision I had this morning. I didn't release it to nobody. No, it wasn't a vision. It was a dream. Uh, the Lord didn't allow me to sleep last night. So I was up praying. And it took me back into the world so that we would be prepared for the war that's coming. If you're not prepared for the war that's coming, you're going to suffer loss. And your loss won't be great. So if I had to get this message, the title is called Purse, Strip, and Swore. And Luke chapter 22, verse 35 through 36, Christ had begun to tell his disciples, you need to grab your purse, you need to grab your strip, and you need to arm yourself with a sword. This morning, I have a dream. And in this dream, I'm in this place. I seen relatives there. I see my son. I see my wife. I see them familiar people, in other words. So I know it's pertaining to the body of Christ. And a plague was released. Plague, P-L-A-G-U-E, a Bible type. I played. And when the plague was released, I could see the people that was infected with the plague. And God didn't have no respect of persons. So they had to carry this individual into the building. And when the plague hit, it hit so aggressively, there was nothing they could do. Now when I say a plague, COVID ain't had nothing on this, what I saw. The minute it hit, they automatically go into a vomiting state. And I began to look at their eyes, and their eyes were rolled back. This looked like a scene out of Hollywood, but this wasn't no joke. And the people didn't realize that this plague was highly contagious. So when they brought the individual into the room, when I looked, I was like, hey, 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 that ain't, that ain't good. They were supposed to leave him outside, but they brought him inside. So I tried to grab, uh, to gather the children, and uh, that was, I believe that was uh, a Kahinde, and I said, hey, we gotta get out of here. We can't stand here, we gotta get out of here. The minute we exit them doors, everybody in the room, Went on. I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. I ain't go back to sleep after that. It looked like some Steven Spielberg movie or something. But this was a plague that God actually released. And so, I stand before you today kind of in a sorrowful heart because it's always going to be people that don't take it. Always. And it's always going to be people that don't make it. Always. And I'm here to tell you, whatever door God opened, because no man closes. But once God closes a door, no man can open it. No man can open it. Last time I spoke, we dealt with the spirit that I saw in the visions. And we investigated the spirit. The word pandemic comes from the Greek word pandemos, which can be broken down to pan meaning all and demos meaning people, and refers to a plague which is prevalent over an entire country or the world. The cause of the plague was unknown until 1894 CE when the bacterium Yersinia pestis was identified and it is now understood as being the cause of most plagues, but not all of them. The bacterium was carried on by the fleas on rodents, which was passed to humans through bites. The plague has the ability to kill 
due to the toxic nature of Yersinia pestis, which compromises the immune system also whilst multiplying in the body. Prior to this knowledge, the plague was believed to have been caused by supernatural powers as a punishment from the gods or god or as a result of a population sin. Plague is an infectious disease caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis. It mainly affects rodents and spreads by way of insects. Because of these insect carriers, plague has been passed on to humans with devastating consequences. Three major plague pandemics have occurred in human history. And while they occurred centuries apart, they shared similar traits that paved the way for the spread of disease. One cause of plague pandemics was the rise of international trade. Trade routes connected once isolated communities and created large economic networks. But by facilitating the movement of goods between communities, trade routes also facilitated the movement of germs. International trade was an impetus for the first plague pandemic on record.